What up, Aries? If you're wondering about the board, I just switched it around because I have some more artwork to get done on it. Management's making some changes, so I have to comply. Blah, 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 blah. You know how it goes, right? Gretchen, you go over here with your baby. There you go. I hope you all are doing okay. This is just going to be a general six ways, you know. This is for the beginning of September to the middle, whenever you consider that. Aries, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your charts! If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game after all. It doesn't work if you don't believe in it. God damn, I missed clicking on this goddamn tablet. I love this thing. Anyway, my dear Aries, if you want a personal reading, my email is down below. As well as my Instagram and Facebook, you can contact me there. First reading's free of charge. Everything comes with a price afterwards, which is listed as well in the description box. And I do appreciate tips and donations. Thank you very kindly. Anyway, back to you, Aries, because you're important right now. Let's see what's going on with your six months. What's happening for you for the beginning of September going on? We have... Prince of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and the situation is either someone is under clarity or someone's a liar or there's something going around that just ain't ringing true. It ain't resonating with the truth right here, right? We have the Princess of Wands, the want and wish. That could be you, Aries. That could be the person you're dealing with. Cross watchers, switch where necessary. Same with the main side. Don't come in here telling me that, like, some bullshit like, oh, that's not me. Like, I don't know who it is. Like, you know, I read messages. I'm not, like, psychic, you know? Let me keep my peace. And I'll let you keep your ego. Deal? Deal. Good deal. What's the opposition? Obstacle and challenge, yes? What do you have to face? Ooh, Ace of Cups. This person or you has to start something new. This queer it does. What is the fear and rejection? King of Cups. Once again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It feels like this Quirit is scared of being a man. I like, I, like I'm not trying to be whatever, but it's like it's two men right here, and it's like they're afraid to level up for some reason. One's offering the cup, but they're afraid to actually use their emotions and intuitive and psychic abilities to uh, really pick things out. It seems like. And what goes around comes around, we'll bring this shit full circle. Actually, I do need to move this over here just slightly. Is the Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, who is reversed. They're kind of nuts. They're not logic-based. She's like a scorned woman, so this could easily be his uh, spouse. Doesn't have to be male or female. Just take the energies as is. Right. Beginning theme, somebody's fending some shit off. Seven of Wands. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting areas. I think this is somebody you're dealing with. Who looks at you like you are more immature than they are, but they still want you. But there's something that isn't really true and it has something to do with this Queen of Swords right here. This person, I think, wants to offer their cup. The obstacle is getting the cup given. And there's something about their cup that they're connected to that's just like, wait, there's like red flag or something, right? So what is with this king of cups right Or this prince of cups right here? My apologies. What is up with them? Happiness. The sun. Power. Genesis. It's like they want to offer their cup in order to get some sort of a golden period established. Because that's a lot of gold. That's a lot of yellow. Like a happy period period where everything's nice and pure or whatever. But they have the Ace of Swords down below. And it's reversed. So it's just kind of, Well, actually, you got two Aces, so I'm flipping them since it's on this board. I kind of have to. It's tradition. So right now they have the Ace of Swords, which is like there's some confusion about something, and it's the Hanged Man. 
Which is like being at a crossroads with something. I think they're unclear about their choices or where they should go after that point. There could have been deception involved, of course. But the deception is, is like thinking that they're at a crossroads with something, too. So that's part of the situation. We have the Ace, or not the Ace, the Princess of Wands and the Wands and Wishes. Could be you, Aries, also Leo, or Sag. I really think that they feel like you're more immature than they are. Which, that's their perspective. We also have a King of Coin, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn's card. Dedicated and adamant. What, they think that, like, you're the money king or something? Or a kingpin or whatever? Like, look at him. He's just lofty. He's chilling because he's got his coin. He's just like, ah. You know. Um, the problem with this Ace of Cups right here, which is the obstacle and challenge, is, like, someone's not taking a leap of faith with it. Um, it's almost like this person wants you to be stronger than they are, Aries, and, like, make the first move. But the problem is, in order to get it started, it's like, they're not taking that leap of faith. Now we reversed it. Uh, the Ace of Cups isn't happening because somebody took a leap of faith or someone wants to try to have a clean slate. And that could be you trying to get away from this person, Aries. For whatever reason, of course. And if we flip this one, the truth of the matter is this person's kind of wasting time, um, energy, trying to look like a martyr or whatever. Like I said, you could switch everything around. This could be you, but I feel like this is more of a water sign you're dealing with. Like, it's their perspective, almost. Which is like... Mm. I just want to say Cancer, but it also could be a Scorpio, too. Pisces, I don't feel so much. Alright, King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. There's a fear and rejection with him. And he's afraid that, like, he's figuring out, no, that this relationship just isn't. It's just not. It's like you don't want them, and they're just not recognizing this. Queen of Swords, right? A scorned woman, all upset and shit. Um, not very happy, willing to cut anyone and anything who she sees in her general direction. Like a knigget, right? Yeah, emotionally unfulfilled. Um, there's no blending, there's no melding. Uh, she's pretty pissed. Pretty miffed, I would say, that there's no more love here. And the ending theme is the eight of coins, knowledge, and insight. Someone doesn't know what the fuck's going on, and that's why they're fighting so hard. Huh. I'll drop two with my, uh, Shed Escape. So let's see, what's going on with uh, this Prince of Cups and this Ace of Swords? What will be coming up with that? There's some justice coming, possibly Libra. Once again, this person right here. Someone's coming for some justice, and they are working on some shit with the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, this Princess of Wands, who comes like either a king of coins, or they're traveling to become a king of coin, and this Ace of Cups not being taken, because there's no faith in this whatsoever. That's the past, and someone still has no idea what the... Okay. This person, Aries, I think thinks that, um... Okay, one, they think that you're still in love with them and you're just completely confused about what to do, right? <clears throat> Which is confusing the shit out of them because they have no idea what the fuck they're doing either. Um, but the problem is the way that they're linked with you in the past, they really believe that it's like you left for money or you left to level yourself up. Or they saw that you leveled yourself up and are thinking of the past and being like, oh, is this why this person left me? rotten blah 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 or la 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 shit like that just not really it's almost like they don't take you seriously for why you're not around them I think okay where they're afraid that like the partnership is over and they feel like it's scorned women because their happy ending was all the stories and shit um 
They're taking off like a knight of wands, wanting to battle, wanting to fight, or maybe they're gonna leave you alone. One of the two, right? They're like, ooh, ten of swords. They are tortured mentally, and it's like they want to go into battle or fight something, take flight, rush and hurry in. Hmm, Aries, this person's very interesting, but. That's what I got for you for September of this current year. Or at least the beginning of it anyway. Until like the second half when I finally read up or whatever, right? Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. You don't have to though. No pressure, of course. But that's just me. But I will see you guys later. Bye.